Would you look at Palantir stock go, guys? Holy crap. Just when you thought the stock went up too much after earnings and needed to cool off a little bit and maybe go back down to $8.50, $9. No, it just uh, keeps on ripping. Well, I guess it did go back to $9. That was a couple days ago, but now it's back over $10 and we're about to test the highs from after earnings. So in this video, we're going to break down the charts, do a quick update, talk a little bit about what I'm doing. Am I buying? Am I selling? What am I up to? So if you all find value, you hit that like button make sure to subscribe and don't forget to get your free money for Moomoo -Moo up to 15 stocks each up to 2,000 bucks all you have to do is use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo once you open up an account you get one free share of stock right off the bat once you fund your account with at least $100 you get four more stocks and once you fund your account with at least $1,000 you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 free stocks so if you guys want some free money who doesn't like free money and you want to help out the channel use that Moomoo -Moo link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo and with that being said, guys, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So you guys probably remember Palantir had a very good earnings report a couple of days ago. A lot of, you know, shorts covered. We had a crazy run after the bell. Let me pull it up and show you guys like, like you guys need a reminder. I mean, you guys probably remember this, uh, you know, like it was yesterday because literally, it, you know, it was just about a week ago, not too long ago. Right, guys? So this stock ended up going up from, where was it? 775 right before the earnings. It went up all the way to 10 dollars per share. We're talking a move of around 30% and then it climbed up to about 10.30, not the day after earnings, but the day after the day after earnings. You guys can see two days after earnings, we got the 10.30 and that's where it started to sell off. You guys can see here it cooled off a little bit. We hit 10.30. Next day after that, we hit 9.70 on the low. Then we took out the lows from the prior day. The day after that, we hit 9.50. Then two days ago, I believe this was on Monday. Yeah, this Monday, we hit $9 flat. We actually took the lows out from Friday and from Thursday, and we hit $9 flat. So that, to me, was this stock shaking out the weak hands. People were probably locking in profits after that massive run-up after earnings with which for the short-term traders out there, I don't blame you. You know, locking in profits is a pretty good idea sometimes. Have you heard the saying, no one's ever gone broke, locking in profits, right? So that's what happened there. A lot of profits were locked in, and we saw a spike back on Monday. If we zoom in a little bit, you guys can see on Monday we hit 9 bucks, like I said. Then we ended up running all the way to 950 by the close. Then yesterday on Tuesday, we pretty much consolidated all day. Pretty good, right around 950. Now today, we're getting the next leg up. Look at this. This guy's Palantir stock is up another seven and a half percent today, which is which is pretty good. I mean, crazy, right? Seventy one cents in the green, and now it's taking out the highs from yesterday, Tuesday, from Monday. We're taking the highs out from Friday as well. Now we're heading towards the highs from. Thursday. Do you guys see this here? If I zoom in a little bit, Thursday we hit roughly 1020. Now we're literally at 1020 at the time that I'm making this video. Again, the stock's up 7.5%. This looks like it wants to go to the highs post earnings any day now, any day now, any minute now. I mean, any hour now at this point, as it is 215 when I'm making this video, we could test that point at any, uh, any moment coming up here, guys. So in my personal opinion, this looks like it is going to break out even further. At least, you know, at least the way things are looking right now. Sure, we could be wrong. I've been wrong in the past, but that's the way I'm seeing it here. We got the huge spike after earnings, big short squeeze, cooled off a little bit, shook out the weak hands. Now we're starting to make the next move, which if we do end up breaking 1030, I might as well set my alert there right now. If we clear above 1030, which I think is very possible, like I've said in this video, we could be making our way towards the highs. Well, we, we will be at a high on the four hour chart if we break 1030 and on the three year chart, maybe, or, or the yearly chart. Yeah, let's start with the yearly chart. We can see the next main resistance is right around 1065 roughly. That was the high from July of last year, 2022. Then if 1065 were to break, 1160, 1165 would be next. That was the high from August of last year, which at this point is close to a year ago. So we're looking at Maybe going to a fresh yearly high at some point in the short term here, guys. Again, if we break 1030 and if we end up breaking 1065. And let me see, on a percentage basis, what would that be? Let's say we break 1030, we start going to 1150, 1160. On a percentage basis, that means we could have another 10, 12% more upside up into about or up until 
10 or rather 1160 here on Palantir. And if 1160 were to break, that's a very, uh, very pivotal spot as well. If that were to break, we're talking a move. Let's pull the three year chart up on Palantir. We could end up going maybe, you know, well, after 1170, maybe towards the mid teens. I mean, 14, 15 bucks. That's where the stock was back in April of last year. That's where we could be going, guys. This is starting to gain a lot of momentum. And like I say all the time, guys, when companies start to consistently report gap profitability, which in this case, that's the uh, you know you know trajectory that Palantir is heading in, that's when a lot of big money starts to come in. That's when shorts start to cover, which we saw that. I mean, we had a pretty big squeeze after earnings 30%. A lot of shorts probably panic. They cover. And that's when big institutions start to buy because... With a lot of, uh, you know, these big institutions, right? They don't want to take a crazy risk on an unprofitable company or a company that might not be profitable for a long time. A lot of the time, they like to wait until a company's profitable. They like to see consistency, which I think Palantir will be consistently profitable on a gap basis in the short term here. And that's when they start to flood in. And that's, you know, the, the case here, in my opinion, what's going on the early stages even here on, uh, you know, Palantir, the early stages of them starting to flood in the big money, if you will. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited, guys. I'm excited about this. We have a, you know, a big move here today, 7.3%. And we're testing that 1030 level, which not only was the high from after earnings, you guys can see, but also from back in uh, February, actually the last time they reported earnings. So funny enough, guys, Palantir just ran up 30% after this most recent earnings report, like we already covered. But the report before that, it ran up. I think more than 30% into the report, maybe uh, from 750 to about 1030. Yeah, it ran 37% last time they reported or two reports ago. And the one they just reported again, they went up around uh, 30%. Interesting how that played out. Pretty much the same price action uh, two reports ago as we just saw now. Um, well, I guess not the same because last time they reported or two reports ago back in February, they shot the 1030 and that barely lasted. You guys can see this went all the way back down to 750. Essentially, all the gains were lost like that two quarters ago in the span of about a week or two. Now this go around, at least as of now, it looks like the gains are holding. Again, we sold off a little bit, some profit taking. Now we're starting to run back up. That's a very, very good sign for the Bulls. And it goes to show the strength right now in terms of uh, when it comes to the Bulls here on Palantir stock. So yeah, guys, what do you think? I mean, this is looking very, very good. And for me, I'm personally waiting for a pullback, whether it's, you know, a little bit of a pullback or maybe, you know, for the full breakout above 1030 so we can ride the momentum. So I could ride the momentum. I'm, I'm not telling you guys what to do. But for right now, I'm not really in it as a trade. But I'm going to consider it again if we break that 1030 mark so I could ride the momentum. Right now, I don't want to FOMO into it. But if we do break out of that 1030 mark again, I'm looking to get into uh, Palantir. So it's looking really good, guys. PLTR up over 7% right now as the markets in general today. My goodness. Have you guys seen the markets, guys? They're looking really good. We have the Russell up over 2%. The Nasdaq's up 1.2%. We have the S&P up one2 as well. Same with the Dow. So essentially, the Dow, the Russell, or uh, rather the Nasdaq, the Dow, and the S&P, they're all up 1.2%. As the Russell's up 2%, and we have the VIX down 6%. As the metals here, we have gold down 0.3%. And we have silver up 0.1%. So very green day out there, guys. Very green day. Pretty much all the stocks on my watch list here are green, except for a couple red ones like uh, First Majestic Silver, Monster, Intel, JD. Uh, but JD's been doing very well. So that that that's okay. That could be red today. It's, it's all good. It's been doing very well the past couple of days. But not many red stocks overall, guys. It is one of those days. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo. Once you open up an account using that link down below, you get one free share of stock right off the bat. And once you fund your account with at least $100, you get four more stocks totaling five stocks. And if you guys fund your account with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks on top of the four stocks on top of the one stock totaling 15 free stocks. And you might as well get your 12 stocks from Webull as well with any amount deposited. Why not? Up to 27 stocks. Link down below. Get your money. Check out my Patreon as well if you guys want to support a bit further and get a bunch of exclusive perks. I'll see you guys on the inside, and with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you in the next video.